Hey, how did your dancing competition go? I believe it was enjoyable. I'm sure many of you are curious to find out about the remaining hidden colors of plants that you haven't discovered yet. After watching this video, we will have a full understanding of most, if not all, of the colors of the plants, and we'll never have to question this topic again. Now, make yourself nicely comfortable, prepare a delicious hot cup of your favorite beverage, and let's begin our discussion. In total, there are 17 different ornamental plants that possess color-changing properties. You can determine whether a particular plant is colorful by scrolling through the plants listed in the research level detail menu. Once you've found an interesting plant, simply click on its icon, and a pop-up menu will appear for further details. If you notice a colorful tag in the plant's description, it indicates that this particular plant possesses the property of color change. Using this method, you can even take a look at any plants that are currently locked in your collection. Now, let's examine the spreadsheet that contains information on all the colors available for the plants. As you can see, the colors of the sunflower are not yet discovered. In total, there are 11 different colors, and each individual plant has a total of six colors, one default, three normal, and two rare. Surprisingly, green is the least used color, followed closely by black, and the three most commonly used colors are white, pink, and purple. Starting from the second color, each subsequent color has a specific condition that needs to be met in order to unlock them for the corresponding plants. The second color can be unlocked by acquiring the Artistic Florist 2 talent and harvesting at least 15 units of the corresponding plant. The third color becomes available when you possess the Artistic Florist 3 talent and have harvested at least 45 units of the corresponding plant. To unlock the fourth color, you'll need to have acquired the Artistic Florist 4 talent and harvested at least 100 units of the corresponding plant. The fifth rare color can be unlocked by possessing the seasoned artistic florist talent and harvesting at least 150 units of the corresponding plant. Lastly, to obtain the sixth rare color, you need to have the seasoned artistic florist two talent and harvest at least 250 units of the corresponding plant. You can collect these plants by cultivating them yourself, gathering them from various locations around Hogwarts, or harvesting them from your friend's planting stations by visiting their wizard spaces. I believe that this is enough information for you to begin your colorful journey. Feel free to screenshot or download the image file from the description below. Now, let's update our shop information. Some of us have now reached the master research level, unlocking the option to upgrade our store to the sixth level. Let's now input the final details to complete the full picture. As you can see, to unlock the sixth level of the shop, we need to grow a total of 50 sunflowers of golden quality. I want to note once more that you must become a master herbologist to unlock this option. Feel free to screenshot or download the image file from the description below. Let's discuss the seeds that are being sold in the shop. I believe most of us have encountered a problem while growing daffodils to unlock the fifth shop level. The main issue is that we run out of seeds while the shop only offers a weekly quota of 10 seeds. It's important to note that to achieve the fifth shop level, we not only need to grow 40 golden quality daffodils, but also obtain their rare color variant. So, we first need to harvest 310 daffodils before planting the final 40 rare daffodils. To solve this issue, the only solution is to work together with other players and gather their daffodil plants before they harvest them. The question now is, what can we do to prevent being faced with this problem of running out of seeds again in the future? Firstly, let's browse the shop and find out which seeds have a higher weekly quota. We can observe that gillyweed, peony and daffodils have a weekly quota of 10 seeds, while Niffler's Fancy and Dragon's Breath have a higher quota of 5 seeds. We are unsure of the challenges the developers have in store for us, but to ensure we're well equipped for any situation, I recommend buying all these seeds on a weekly basis. Please keep in mind that purchasing these seeds each week is not a strict rule, but rather a helpful suggestion, so that you can be well prepared for whatever challenges come your way. That's all the information for now. Make sure to watch all the series to be fully informed. If you have anything useful to share or any questions, feel free to leave a message in the comments section below. I would be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content 
and we'll see you in the next episode. Hello, Uhtred. I just love the way you describe colours. Thanks, Lottie. By the way, were you at the library the day before the incident with Kenji happened? No, I was preparing the decorations for the party. Why do you ask? Nothing, Lottie. I'm just curious. Hmm. Okay, see you later then.